your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. No sports car is more revered than the Jaguar E-Type. Born of racing, over 72,500 street legal XKEs were built between 1961 and 1975. And enthusiasts have been rebuilding them ever since. But the successors to the XKE were more grand touring than sports cars. And while fitting Jaguar's luxury image, they lost the XKE's unforgettable spirit. But Jaguar says that this new 2007 XK series signals a revival of its sports car heritage without forsaking the brand's posh status. That's a tall order indeed. The fabled Jaguar E-Type embodied the essence of what a true Jaguar is supposed to be. It was sleek, fast, and a superior sports car for its time. But times have changed, and so have Jaguars. Enter the all-new 2007 Jaguar XK, a combination of heritage with luxury and technology that is the modern Jaguar. The XK begins with a new lightweight aluminum monocoque chassis. Designed for both hardtop and softtop formats from the get-go, it allows both coupe and convertible to weigh in at less than 3,800 pounds. The new design is roughly the same size as its predecessor, the XK8, measuring 3.5 inches wider but only 1.2 inches longer, but is clad in a more muscular, stretched, slightly angular body that reflects its greater sport-oriented character. It also is among the first cars with a pedestrian-friendly hood. And in the popular convertible body style features a flawlessly executed three-layer power cloth top. The entire top-down sequence takes less than 18 seconds. This cat keeps its paws on the pavement thanks to a control arm front and multi-link rear suspension, aided by JAG's CATS computer active technology suspension, which instantly adjusts suspension damping. To put power to the pavement are 18 or 20-inch wheels and tires. Our coupe was fitted with the 20-inch rims and run-flat tires. The muscle for this beast is the familiar AJ V8 4.2 liter V8, which gets a modest boost in output to 300 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. A supercharged version will soon be available, sporting the infamous R badge. With a new car also comes a new transmission. Gone is the familiar J-Gate shifter, replaced by a hockey stick gate for the ZF sequential shift automatic. It includes quick shifting manual paddles on the steering wheel too. Hit the big red starter button and the exhaust belts out a hearty growl. We tested both the coupe and convertible and found acceleration almost a dead heat. Zero to 60 in 6.4 seconds for the convertible and 6.5 seconds for the coupe. Quarter mile times were 14.9 seconds at 97 for the convertible and 15 seconds flat at 97 for the coupe. Thanks to the light all aluminum bodies, these cats can move. Torque is plentiful throughout the power band and the new transmission shifts smoothly both up and down in manual shift or full automatic modes. With suspension gadgetry at full on, our XK quickly surpassed the supple response of its predecessor. While not as sharp as a pure sports car, it transcends most grand tours with impressive balance and control, plus a much higher fun factor than we're used to in a big GT. If traction and stability control can't maintain driving decorum and a rollover is imminent, sensors in the convertible will automatically deploy two high-strength aluminum bars from behind the rear seats. The new XK also includes tire pressure monitoring that warns the driver of low air pressure and if the current pressure is not suitable for the car's speed. Bringing these big cats to a halt are large ventilated discs with four-channel ABS. Both our cars averaged a dead stop from 60 of just 122 feet. Pedal resistance was also just fine. The XK's wide, low 2 plus 2 cabin can be adorned in light or dark wood or sleek aluminum with chrome highlights in all the right places. Seating in the front is luxurious with surprising legroom, but no person tall enough to ride a roller coaster should even attempt to get into the rear seats. The main instruments are two large round analog gauges with a digital message center in between, while a 7-inch touchscreen in the center stack will access audio climate as well as the standard satellite navigation. 
Lowering the convertible top greatly reduces trunk space, but with the top up and in the coupe, there is enough room for two sets of golf clubs or whatever you might need for a weekend getaway. In the past, Jaguar has sold more convertibles than coupes and expects to do the same with the new XK, but customers better be ready to play. The coupe starts at $75,500 and the convertible at $81,500, so they certainly aren't giving them away. A base BMW 650i has more power and starts at about $4,000 less. The 2007 Jaguar XK represents a big step forward and a small but welcome step back in the bold and performance-driven XK lineage, a combination of technology and tradition that delivers on its tall order and puts this cat at the head of the pack. Coming up, academic driving.